actual foot. Sorry if I'm giving y'all a little cheek action. These shorts don't fit me. I'm about to try this vlogging thing. I don't got no other video ideas, so vlog it is. How do you go to YouTube on here? Uh uh. Uh uh. Throw the ass back. Come on. Uh. <laughs> but um, yeah. Y'all are basically just gonna be watching me clean my house a little bit because after this weekend, I've been shooting a heck of videos with Destiny and my place is really just dirty as hell so yeah i'm about to clean it back up again get it back right y'all wouldn't mind if i sing for y'all would you youtube been copyrighting my stuff <laughs> and i ain't even gonna lie i'm not with that shit <laughs> so how about we just wind down y'all you watch me clean and i sing a little song for y'all happy holidays Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been a very good girl, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. <laughs> Santa baby, a nigga can't lie, they don't know the words. Santa baby, I'm switching up, I sing a different verse. Um, we just gonna freestyle y'all, cause I don't know no Christmas songs. This Christmas time. This Christmas night. Ooh, that was good. Gathering around the fire at night. Gather around the tree with me. Oh, my siblings and me. Rust down the stairs to see the tree. After that, we don't even brush our teeth. Waking up early morning to see all the gifts under the tree for me. You know somebody who just got their first apartment, you know, doesn't really like cleaning that much like me. Get them a swiffer, sw swiper, sweeper, swiper, chopper, wet jet, like, cause this will really change their life. I just love technology. Like, just, I just can't even believe it. And it's got the little, I have the one with the, I don't know if they all come like this, but I have the one with the built-in little, little pine saw dispenser. Oh yeah. Ah. Cuppies to a, a thingy. 
Like, you know how lit that is? Yeah, y'all. Um, I'm gonna get in the shower and get myself together because I'm trying to come out of this camera looking crazy. And yeah, probably get some food because I'm kind of hungry or make some food. My hair looks crazy. I don't know. We'll find out. Hey, y'all. I'm big. Damn. I don't even be meaning to. Every time I get on this camera, I look crazy. Oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. It's a chopper. Ooh, pew, pew, pew. I look crazy. Y'all, I don't even be meaning to look this damn crazy every time I come on the camera, but it just happened like that. As y'all can see, I've been cleaning all damn day. Right now, it is... Oh, boom. Beach. My phone died. It's um approximately crazy though. Damn, I really look crazy. All right, it's approximately some some o'clock. I was gonna try and get myself together. I changed out my pajamas though, but then I took a nap, so my hair looked like this. But that's okay, cause that's none of y'all business. And y'all leave me alone. I'm stressed out because obviously I look like this for a reason. I'm stressed out, y'all. Somebody, somebody broke ass decided to come walk up my stairs and steal my freaking package that has somebody's gift in it. And I'm just very irritated. Today we gonna go get some wrap paper, some wrap stuff, and wrap these people gifts. I might do some other little stuff, y'all, but I think I'm blogging on Christmas, so I need to save some stuff to do. Um... I look crazy. All right, come meet to the story. I need some gifts, shorty. I need some gifts. I need wrapping paper. I need wrapping paper. If I walked with you like this, for me, like for me, like asked you, like what type of time you want? Like what you gonna say? Nah, what you gonna say? Nah, for real though, I'm just waiting on my ride, y'all. Cause I'm irresponsible, and I locked my keys out my car the other day. And then when I got home after I called a locksmith, I lost him in the house and I ain't found him in weeks. <laughs> True story. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go to the store though. Up the tool, fuck the Glock, but I'll use it. All right, y'all, so we finna get up in this stuff. I thank God we got everything we needed secured the bag. Ooh, can't even be showing the gifts. I'm out here too excited. Um, Y'all see it though looking like an episode of hoarders but we just got all the gifts um i think i'm gonna just wrap them put them up under the tree because everybody taking these cute little boomerangs and they tree and they all stuff with presents my shit said naked i don't even got bulbs on the back of my tree so i need to do something and then y'all i might end the vlog or y'all might see me do a little something extra a little sneak breeze i don't know yet but um yeah stay tuned i'm gonna get back to y'all Next stop, you all. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh, pajamas. And then I need. Oh, shoot. What else do I need? I need pajamas. I need pajamas. Y'all gonna see. I really did it up. I'm really creative. My friends better be happy with their little ungrateful ass, even though they don't deserve shit. No, explain. Whoa. We bumping shit. Y'all, I already got these dirty crocs on always. I'm running into that. Oh, I just got racially. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell. Let me just tell y'all how I got racially profiled in Target. So there's these group of workers and they're standing around talking and then looking at me back over and over again, right? So I'm walking up and down the aisle. I'm looking like at stuff like everybody else on Christmas Eve who didn't shop uh, on time, just like me. But I'm the only black person in here, right? So they looking at me. I already knew they wanted to say something, but clearly she maybe was intimidated by me being black. I'm not really sure. But she just looking at me. So I start walking over. She gonna say, just to let you know we are closing. So if you could start heading up to the front. Okay, so tell Jim, uh, Tammy, and, 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 and Susie to head up to the front too. Oh, you not? Oh, because you, because y'all, oh, okay. Like, girl, get on my, seeing shit. 
Like, that is so fucking crazy. They let this Mexican man go to his car, y'all, and come back in after their fucking closing. I had three fucking people walking around, looking at me, following me. That's discrimination. If y'all don't know what discrimination is, you're gen you can, anybody can be discriminated against. And that is exactly what they're doing. That's why nobody fucks with bitch-ass Target. They're racist as fuck. Huh? What? Ah. Uh. Oh, I thought a bitch said something fuck is y'all talking about but you know what i'm gonna keep it cute and i'm gonna just leave and i will be calling their supervisor asap you said what i don't know i don't even want that shit <laughs> y'all i'm literally so mad like i'm literally shaking but let me just explain something to y'all it goes beyond fighting it goes beyond you know being about my respect and all, all that other shit at the end of the day i am a young black woman and more than likely the Five out of ten black women we discriminated against. We did again. This is my problem that I had with them. I already knew what time it was. I knew that they were going to close. I made it at like 7.50 something. That's fine. Everybody was continuously shopping. Now, if I already seen everybody going up to the register, I would have no problem. Obviously, okay. But I'm going to go up to the register. But since I see everybody shopping, I'm going to assume it's okay for me to be shopping. I'm walking into the electronic aisle. Mind you, I'm not really looking for anything because I didn't really have anything to come for. I'm with somebody else who was actively shopping. Ooh, I see these two white women looking at me, and I mean, she's just looking stank as hell. Then they disperse. The other white girl still continuously looking at me as she's, as she's stocking stuff on the show. I tell the person that I'm with, um, you know, are they looking at me or am I tripping? Like, he's like, okay, no, they're, you're just tripping. So then I start walking to, like past the girl and she's like, oh, I don't know if you know, but um, we're gonna have to ask you to go to the front, we're closed. I didn't really have a problem with that. All I really said was, oh, that's what she was looking at me for. Why did they just say that? Because girl, why are you just staring at me if you wanna say something? Girl, you work here, not me. Why is you scared? Like, what I'm finna do, bite you? It was already just kind of weird from there because y'all was sitting here watching me from the, from the thing. That already gives me, like I said, as a black woman, and if you don't understand this, then I, I don't know what to tell you. Nine times out of 10, when people are looking at you like that and you're in a store, I guarantee you they, nine times out of 10, if you are black, they think that you're stealing. That's how a lot of people have lost their life. That's how altercations people have ended up in jail, all from people assuming that they're stealing, giving them weird looks. It, it's just a fact. That's a, the first thought that comes into your mind as a black person, whether you have money or you broke. You walk in there and you're automatically gonna assume everybody's staring at you because they think that you're stealing and nine times out of 10, they are. So I'm walking down the aisle, mind you, I'm not even really grabbing anything. I'm looking for the other person that I'm with. I'm on the phone with them at the same time. This lady is continuously talking to me now. If she would have came to me a little more respectfully, I wouldn't have, you know, gave her the response that I did. But since she kind of came to me like, oh, um, I, you've been told that you need to go to the front of the store. We're closing. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, okay, ma'am, I am a grown woman. I understand that. I know what time you guys close and I will make my way to the front. But since I see multiple, and this is exactly what I said. But you guys keep on following me and, 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 and talking to me, the only black person in this store, while multiple Sally, Sarah's, Jim's, and Jack's keep walking by me, shoveling shit in their cart for their kids, and it's perfectly fine. And then she automatically, just like her attitude, very much stank. Like, I understand, girls, Christmas Eve, you want to go home to your family, or maybe you're irritated. I, I didn't push that pin to that paper and sign that job application. I didn't sign you up and take you to the interview. So that's on you. That's not on me. I don't care. Take your attitude somewhere else. I will meet you with the level of respect. And this is something that I am working on. And I feel like I've done so much better with keeping my emotions under control and keeping my attitude in check. But I'm not even going to lie. Since I've been doing so good and I haven't really popped off on somebody, I feel like she just got all the backlash. And I failed that test. I already apologized to God because that was completely on me. That was definitely a test. And I failed that. And I understand that. But I'm not perfect. I'm working on myself. And just like she had an attitude, baby, I can have one too. And that's exactly what I gave her. Which, that's wrong on my part. I keep seeing people, and of course they were not black, continuously shopping, and they are still following me, only telling me from what I can see. Now, maybe th these white people are just blatantly not listening and continuously shopping, but then be on their ass and threaten to call security like you did me. The hell? Right. So then, all of little Jim Jam and Jerry and Michaela, because yeah, I hope you're watching this, Michaela. I should have snatched her name tag off and threw it on the floor, for real, for real. But anyway, so, yeah, after they all started, you know, trying to form a little army or whatever and call security, this white man walks up and he starts saying that he left his wallet in the car, so can he come back? So I turned to Michaela, I'm like, wait, but aren't you guys closed? She said, <laughs> well, no. So why are you calling me? If you let this man, it's the principle of the situation, it's not that big of a deal, but 
I bet you they won't do that again. I bet you they will not do it again. <sighs> they just knocked the Christmas spirit out of me and I was ready to knock anyway. <laughs> Michaela, when you get off, no, 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 you don't even have to get off. On Monday, I'm coming up to the store, I'm going to purchase a scooter, and I'm going to hit you in your ankle. What are you talking about? I'm going to dead come buy a scooter and smack the you with it. Like, for real. You, you had the right one? No, 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 no. You had the wrong one on the right day. But, um, yeah, y'all. I'm irritated. I'm gonna go take a nap i'm actually really nice y'all but she really just like had me just so like toasted like tostitos pizza like for real but i'm coming to calm now like i, I can feel it kind of leaving my body right y'all go wrap these gifts with love i gotta let all this anger out so i can wrap them with love gunshots Bow. you heard that i've been hearing that a lot lately